So electrical energy storage is a means of taking electrical energy when it's available and converting it into other forms, so for example chemical or mechanical energy, uh, and then reconverting that electricity, uh, sorry, that energy into electricity at a later stage. Um, and this is important because governments around the world have committed to reducing our greenhouse gas emissions to mitigate the impact of climate change. Uh, and at the moment, a big chunk of our greenhouse gas emissions are coming from energy, of which another big chunk is electricity, and the electricity chunk is growing rapidly. At the moment, about 60% of our electricity is generated using fossil fuels, which are, emit a lot of greenhouse gases, and about 6% from intermittent renewables like solar and wind. But the share of solar and wind is growing quickly, uh, and but, and that's good, but the problem with that is that solar generates energy only in the day and wind only when it's windy, and those don't necessarily correlate with when we use our energy. So the ability to store energy when it's available to be used when it's not uh, is important and is likely to become increasingly important in meeting emissions targets in the future. I think there's going to be a range of technologies, um, partly based on the range of applications. So you're going to have technologies on a kind of small scale, so on an off-grid scale you're going to, probably going to be something like a battery that can be scaled to that, to be small like that, and provide a good amount of power and energy at that scale. Um, on a larger scale, so things that are kind of grid connected, you're going to have some other applications. So. Um, you're going to have some applications that require high power so you can deliver a lot of energy quickly for something like that, probably flywheels or uh, supercapacitors are going to be good um, things that can store large quantities of energy so some mechanical technologies like pumped hydro and compressed air might be good for that and some technologies which are a kind of balance of the two um, and that tends to be electrochemical storage such as batteries There's a number of challenges associated with uh, deployment of electrical energy storage technologies. Uh, one is that most of these technologies haven't been trialled on as large a scale as is going to be required as yet, so people don't really know how, uh, what the challenge of scaling up will look like. Um, secondly, there's a wide range of electrical energy storage technologies, and a lot of them, again, because they're not particularly mature, the costs and technical characteristics aren't very well defined yet. Um, and finally, we don't really know exactly what the energy system in the future is going to look like. So, depending on how we meet our electrical requirements, whether it's a lot of renewables or if we rely more on CCS and nuclear, uh, this will have a big impact on the scale and um, type of electricity storage technologies we might require in what quantities. Um, this isn't to say we shouldn't be uh, working towards deploying these technologies now, and you know getting going, deploying them, there's opportunities for big savings by 2030 with if we do energy storage right, so um, yeah, challenging but important to work on now. My current research is aimed at better understanding how the costs and technical characteristics, uh, and including the lifetime, which I think is quite related to the environmental impact, which is also a thing I'm looking at. Um, will develop in the next kind of 5 to 15 years, potentially longer time scales as well. Uh, and within that, the role that kind of fundamental scientific R&D and applied R&D research and development and uh, deployment and scale up could play in driving those costs down and improving those uh, performance parameters. And um, the goal with this is twofold I guess to help to understand where investors could best place money to push energy storage technologies forward and also to try to better understand what could be expected from a kind of policy and energy systems planning perspective in terms of what energy storage might be able to provide in the future.